Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm Justin and this is Pisces Printing. So today's video is probably going to be a bit on the shorter side. Um, and what I'm doing, I, I'm pretty sure it's been done out there before. I know it's been done before because you can actually buy them in the store. The, um, the wind-up flashlights employ this kind of thing. But um, I just wanted to see if I could actually take an electric motor and 3D print some gears to turn it fast and see what kind of voltage I can get out of it. So I'm going to assemble that and then we'll see what kind of results I get. So, so this is just me kind of um, messing with the Fusion 360 software, um, figuring kind of how things are going to go together and whatnot. Um, I kind of have some technical difficulties here where it kind of gets a little jumpy. Um, I don't know why the capture card didn't work properly, but it didn't. I'll have to work on that in the future. But um, enjoy the rest of the little time lapse. So it looks like if you really wanted to, you could probably charge a cell phone off this or any other USB device. It's outputting right around 5.4 volts or so. Um, I don't know how bad you'd really want to do that, but you could. Um, so yeah, it puts out about 5.4 volts. Um, I want to try to build some sort of a uh, capacitor circuit or super capacitor circuit to hold it that charge and then power an LED with the uh, stored up power. So I'll be looking into that in the future and there might be a video on that. Um, and also I'll put up the actual CAD drawing on this on how I did it. Um, it was the first time I actually played with the interconnectivity in Fusion 360 and I really enjoyed it. Um, so if you've made it this far, thank you. Um, I hope you liked what you've seen. and If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe.